Welcome back to Grill Man's Garage. We're in the workshop today for the aftermath of the crash. We assessed the damage and we found out we had a broken left rear arm and a cracked and broken gimbal mount. So how do we dismantle the Femi X8 Mini? Simple, easily, without any damages, without getting too involved. Enough to either change out an arm with the motor very easily or to remove the gimbal very easily. Anything more in depth would be a considerably bigger job. Okay, so let's go over to the workbench and get right to it. It's very simple, one, two, three. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a video that I watched that helped me get through it, but it was so fast, I had to slow it down to like two times slower. And there's no words, no explanation. He just rushes through it. But when it slowed down, I got to see a few important things, but I did make some mistakes and thankfully I have two of them to work on and experiment with this one. Okay, let's get over to the workbench and let's get to it. Okay, so welcome to the workbench. Okay, over here we have the original X8 Mini version 1 that uh, crashed from the sky and I think a motor seized up or something. but. And that's all been dismantled. This is the version 2. I do have the canopy off, but I'm going to explain how we get there. And it's relatively easy. But online, there isn't any videos showing how to really, in detail, dismantle the Mini from Femi. So I'm going to go through this slowly, methodically, and what you'll need and to get to this point. Nine times out of ten, the repairs you're going to do on a Femi Mini are replacing a motor or an arm. Replacing an arm. When you buy the new one, it comes with the arm and the motor all together, like this one here, but it's, it's broken here. And this is how they come, and you replace them. So, how do you dismantle it? the quick and easy way, and what do you need? All you really need is one of these. And I'll show you a picture of the size. It's a PH00. That's all you need. That's the only screwdriver you need to take this apart 99% of the time. Okay. You also may need some tweezers, maybe like a guitar pick, maybe. A plastic ruler you might use in the edges, maybe. Or if you have a little pry bar, maybe. Okay, um, find out what you have. But the only screwdriver you need is a PH00. Okay, or you might need some tweezers as well. Little tweezers or the fine ones. Okay, so let's pretend this is all together, okay? And we've just taken the battery out. Okay, so we look at this. How do we get this canopy off? Well, there's really only four screws. Four screws, okay? You don't have to worry about these two at the back. It's that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw. Four screws. They come out. Now be careful, depending on the screwdriver you have, you really need, now this is not a PH00, but you need one with a long shaft to get down into these, okay? It has to have a long shaft. If you have something like this, this is not deep enough, okay? And you can't get into it, okay? This is the screwdriver that comes with the craft, and it's too small. It's probably a PH000. Okay. So you just need the PH00. What I had to do here, okay, so that I could get this in, I had to drill, and I'll show you a picture of that. I had to drill this out with a drill to countersink it. Okay. Anyway, so you've got these four screws out, and they're over here. One, two, three, four. Okay. To get this canopy off, 
in the back, you'll notice these two clips here and this here, which is there and there. Let's get my little pointer here, okay? There and there. You can take a little screwdriver, my little screwdriver, okay? Pretend this is a flathead, okay? And you push them in. You start at the back here on this side, okay? So you, you kind of finagle it around with, oops, come here, come here. You kind of get in there with something plastic and that, and you, you force this end up a bit, okay? Then work your way around and hit these two clips here, and it pops up. On this side, though, be careful. Can you see in there? Well, I'll show you when I take this off, okay? See this ribbon cable here? It's sticky, okay? If you rip this off, chances are you could take this pin off. And getting them back on is a pain. You have to glue them special. So what I did and what I found was when it's together like this, let's see if we've got it. Can we see it there? When it's together like this and you can see it in there, okay? What you do is, you get in there with a something, okay? And you start to push it away. And you unstick it, okay? You unstick it from the main plastic so that when you go around, you get this, get it loose, and then you can continue around here. When you get to these here on the side here, okay, you see that there, these two things here, okay? They correspond to this little piece here, okay? That there, that there, okay? So when they're down like this, okay, you can get, say you get this little piece in here, you get in here, and you open like this, okay? Or you go the other way, okay? And you're, you're forcing it out a little bit. See that? You're forcing it out a little bit. Or you'll squeeze that as hard as you can. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of these landing gear. You'll squeeze this as hard as you can, and it will create a gap that you can get under. So you can either get in there and try and pop it out, because you do have a clip here as well on the side, okay? So you have to basically squeeze this in, okay, squeeze this in enough and pry it. So when it's, you come around and you do it all the way around and it will pop off. Just make sure this part here isn't sticking to it, okay? So it's all off like that. I did not take this off. This is just a piece of tape, okay? It's like a decal. I left it on. It's very sticky. But as you can see, all the way around, there's all these little joints. When you put it back on, you have to be careful. And you look at here, there's a screw hole, there's a screw hole, and the two at the back. Those are the four you took off, okay? Now, if you, and then, you have access to all your soldering points. And they are all labeled. If you get really close, okay, well, how close we can focus here, but they are labeled black, red, yellow, B-R-Y, okay? And you can desolder them and pull them out. The back ones you'll notice, see the back and the front? They have one screw on them. There's only one screw there, and there's two screws on the back. That's because this screw is from there, okay? So you've already taken one off. So to take this arm out, you unscrew that one, okay? 
flip it over and you see that silver pin there you push that out okay and what will happen then you'll get this is from the other one you'll get one of these okay you'll get one of these and see it's see the shape of that okay this is the inside this is the outside okay and that's all that is it's held in with that one screw okay that's for that one okay you t take it out watch where the wire is threaded when your new one you take these and you thread them in the same way okay thread them in making sure that this black tape here is all the way through the fuselage okay there we go now then if you wanted to take the gimbal off and it comes apart quite easily okay I'm gonna show you here if I can point to this one I'll have to use this longer pointer but if you look in here okay down here right there that's a screw and this is a screw right here in the corner okay you take those two screws out and then you have two of these and they are shaped to fit that's on as you're looking at the drone as you're looking at the drone this one would be the left this one will be the right side and it fits in a channel and the other one would be the other side you take those out what happens there is you expose this channel You expose this channel, and that's where, put this back down here. Oh, here we are. This is a complete housing unit. These rubber grommets here are square. Okay? These ones are square, these ones are round. Okay? square ones and they're like a rectangle you see that like a rectangle and these ones are rounded square ones go in like that into those and once you get them in when you're replacing it you put these back on put the screw in okay but in order to take the gimbal out okay that's the next one and basically it's again four screws okay so it's one screw there, one screw there. Same screwdriver, one screw there, one screw there. Now, deep inside here, if you can see it, I'll try and manipulate it maybe there, way down in there. Can you see it? There's a screw down there. And there is one on this side. You have to move the ribbon cable to see it, but it is down here. Okay, it's way down in this corner. And it's basically here and here. And I'll show you one here. Okay, so this is like this. Okay, like this. There's a screw, there's a screw, there's a screw, and there's a screw. Very, very hard to see, hard to get to but it's way in there, okay? 
when you take that off, there is a black plate. Okay? It's a black plate and it's got this sticky stuff on it. Okay? But it's it's in here, okay? So there's four screws. Okay? One, two, three, four. Okay? One, two, three, four. And they are ever so tiny. Okay? Here they are here. Here. There's one right there. They are ever so tiny. So be careful. There's four of them right there. Okay? Um, yep, I think that's it. Four. And you pry that off. You get to this. Then you can take these cables off if you want and they're press fit so you have to get rid of the glue when you put them back on be sure you get them lined up properly and press them in properly there will be a little click it will f feel it but it's very very delicate don't over force it but just sure they're lined up enough and click it in okay and that's and to take this apart even more you look for the screws, you're going to have to start from up here and basically either start with these or these and things will come apart. Okay, there's that. Getting it back together, do the reverse. Be careful when you put this back in. It's this little pin here can get trapped. Okay, so just be careful that's not, doesn't look like that when you put it in. Okay, be sure there's no, there's nothing like that sticking up. Like that, yeah. If it's up like that, it's wrong. Okay, it's got to be flat. Okay, you put the four screws in. Okay, and away you go. In order to get this whole gimbal out, okay, you have to release, you have to release two pins. So that's this pin, which is the long one. Okay, see how tiny this stuff is? Okay. This pin here. is from this side. This pin here that's still attached is this one, the small one. And the small one is this one right here. Okay? So you can either Take the bottom one off and flip out the whole unit or because it would attach to here, so you have it attached. Okay. And this goes on like something like this. It goes on like that. Okay. But that's the one that came off of the version one. I'll show you what I did to mine because you, I'll show you how it smashed and it broke into three pieces. Well, <clears throat> I had an option, okay? I had two options. I could either disturb this pin and disturb the pins underneath or leave them intact because I don't have much luck with these types of pins and try and figure out a way to get my pieces back together. And that's what I did. So here, if you look, I don't see, know if you can see, but here, this is glued. This, this arm here is glued right here. It's also glued right down here. Okay, so it's glued there. So what I did was I put the bottom section in first, put the grommets in, 
covered them over, put the screws in. Then I put the top one, then I put, pardon me, these three screws here. I put the top plate on. Then I maneuvered it so that it was between this cable, so I didn't have to disconnect the cable. I glued it, held it, and let it cure overnight. Okay? So what really happened was, say this is, and this is version one, and the version one is different than a version two. Okay? See on here? This is round. There's nothing, there's nothing sticking out here. Okay, nothing sticking out here. But on the version two, there's this arm whereby you, and there's some very fine wires here. I have to be careful not to hit. But this here is attached. Okay. Now, if for whatever reason down the road this wire gets messed up, I'm going to have to take all this apart and redo it. At that point, I will probably take it all apart. But th this fix is at best temporary, and we're going to see what happens with it. Okay, so as I said with this, this is the version 1 one. There is no appendix here. What they did was they put the wire through a channel here, but in the version 2 they opted to do it differently. I guess to keep it out of the way. I don't know. But mine broke. It broke here. So I glued it there. This whole arm came off and broke there. And it broke here. Okay? Here and here. Well, actually, up here and here. So I had two pieces. Okay? And I've got this back in. And I'll show you what happened after. And here's a little video of it booting up, my boot up sequence. And then I did a little test if the motors worked. Take two. We have a battery. We had to take these screws out again because the button wouldn't push down. So I'm going to put the battery in. It's connected in, I'm hoping. Four lights. Let's start her up and see what happens. We have an orange light there. Well, we have movement on the gimbal. Let's start this up. This is the controller. We have a flashing green light over there, so we can turn that on. Plug this in. Okay. Here we go. Well, we have a camera. Do we have gimbal movement up and down? Up. We do. Hmm. Okay. We don't have any shake in the gimbal. So far, so good. So, let's turn this down, shut it off. Okay, here we go. We have the controller ready to go. We're waiting for the green light to go on there. And we're going to just see what happens. There we go. Green light. Plug it in. Let's get this lit up here. Here we go. Okay. Plug it in. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. We have that crystal clear, beautiful, ready to go with nothing. Okay, is it down and in or down and out? Let's see what happens. Well, they spin. Let's see again. Well, can't ask for anything else than that, so I just got to fix that left rear one. My main concern on this motors, these motors was this arm here, because it really hit the dirt hard, and it, I think, loosened this for some reason. But I got in there, I blew it out really hard, it spins really freely, no problem. I don't have an issue. You see here, okay, see this wire here? This wire here, that's the antenna, okay? Goes into that arm. Is the one in this arm? Nope. No antenna in this arm. Only antenna is front left, okay? So if you get a replacement of the front left, you're gonna have to follow that wire back and you're gonna have to do some more um, you know, taking things out like these screws here, you're going to have to take them out. You're going to have to do some dismantling because once you start with these and you're taking this apart, uh, you're getting down to a full, full dismantle. So the worst one to have to change would be the front left. If your front left goes, I don't know. I don't know. It would be tough. Okay, a little correction here. Remember I said about the front left arm, the front left arm here, that you've got the uh, antenna running through? Well, some people have asked me, well, what if you really have to change it? What do you do? Well, you follow the wire across and it comes to here. Okay, so we've got the wire here. And underneath this flat part that goes into this module here, okay, you lift that up, just lift it up slightly, and it will expose, you have a little bit of room, you can lift it up, okay? It will expose, can you see it? This, this rubber thing here. And that is your antenna. You see the round hole there? Okay, can you see that in there? Okay, and the back of this wire is, if I can turn it, it's the antenna. See that there? Okay, it's the antenna. Okay, and when you put it back in, you just make sure that you've got the round part on there. And you can put it on there. No. You've got to get the circle right in the middle of the circle there. You've got to get it right. There we go. Get it right. And it's on and push this back down, okay? Putting it back together, again, you've got this off, put it on, boom, 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 press it, click it, and then you've only got the one, two, three, four, and you're done, okay? So that's basically, basically it. So to replace a motor on an X8 Mini, really all you need is a PH00 screwdriver, and some kind of a prying apparatus, okay? A little bit of patience, go around it, 
and be sure to unstick this ribbon cable. It's sticky, very sticky. Okay. Go on the inside and just pry it off of the body before you start pulling it apart and it'll come out no problem at all. Okay, so that's this. My next step is put this back together and see if it'll fly. I know I'm going to have to replace this arm. I did glue it. And the tricky thing about super glue is I've heard all these things about you can't use super glue. You've got to use super glue and baking soda, super glue and lead pencil, all this kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, fine. The big thing about super glue is you've got to let it cure. It's at least 24 hours before it's cure. Okay. I put this on yesterday just before noon. And today it's about 1030 or so. And I couldn't move it. It was solidly stuck. And then I just kind of, it broke the seal. And I'm able to move it. I'm not going to. I don't think I'm ever going to put it back together. I'll just leave it like it is. Put the landing gear on. Put the canopy cover on it. And uh, leave it as it is. Let's put this on now just to be sure. And, uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. There we go. What I'm going to do is probably leave it out like this all the time because I'm not going to play with this if it works. I know I'm going to have to get another one of these, probably, but I just want to see if the gimbal's going to work. I'm quite satisfied with the glue on these because it's not um, a rigid force thing. It's very cushioned. And if it works fine, that's great. If not, I'll have to go this route and change it out where I'll have to take this pin off of here and hope for the best that I can get the pin back in. Okay, but I've got this spare part out. That's really what I wanted. And now I know that it's super easy to change a leg as long as it's not this one. Okay, there we go. And that's uh, easy peasy. Nothing really damaged this arm was, but uh, let's go from there.